Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about something I've been using for last week or so, which is called VR Chat. VR Chat is a virtual environment where people can log in using avatars of their choosing and interact and play games with each other, as well as um, allows full body tracking on the body as well. So I'm going to walk through some of my thoughts on this, show you some clips of me getting involved with it and um, stick around because um, I've got some really interesting views on this application. Let's dive right in. All right, this is it. So this place here called Black Cat is one of the notorious, I don't know what you call it, some sort of bar where people go and linger. And it's really, this place is really strange. There's people hanging around in weird angles. I don't know if they are disconnected or what, but generally, yeah you normally just find like this a group of people they avatars are very very small on big i just chose this sort of like cat like person so you can see me walking around here i don't have full body tracking so i'm just using my hands and you can sit down or stand up which is quite interesting so it's like some people are mute they don't talk at all and other people are very vocal so basically this is like the bar area that you can walk in and there's a map here where you can go in and check out different areas so this is like what you use to mess around with so i just realized that i actually had the safety option on so there is a safety option on in the game where you can turn it on and sort of it i think it mutes everyone or changes their avatars but it doesn't Give you the spicy avatars it changes it to the normal ones basically yeah so now these people in the corner here they're having like some sort of like dance party or something um they're going crazy um jumping around this guy i don't know if it's a girl guy i think it's a guy but he he this guy here he's like obviously he's like intoxicated because he is just and then he he starts to have shots. I think he's drinking at some stage in the video as well. I'm just going to uh, let this video run so you guys get a feel of it. And then I'll comment afterwards so you can see what's happening there if you want to pay attention to it. I actually like this song. I started dancing along. So this part of it was pretty cool. And the next part, you can actually see the guy lifting the bottle up and having a shot. You didn't, you were probably sick of hearing those guys screaming and stuff, but so a few things I've noticed. First thing is um, people go on there and they get lick it up and drink, and then they start dancing and shouting and screaming. The next one, they do this thing called ERP, which is called erotic role play. Um, with they use their avatars in ways, you know, they strap on body movement, uh, body. Tra There's studies done on this as well, and most of them are actually guys that are portraying as girls. So go some people actually go on there and change their gender because they don't know who they are. It's just like they don't know what their gender questions your gender. Um, yeah. So that's my experience. There's a lot of kids on this platform. Um, so as a parent, I wouldn't be giving my child access to this this application um where it goes from here the next steps i have no idea how they can use this but uh it's probably something that i will try a few times but generally i didn't see much value there wasn't anyone worth talking to on the platform itself and the games are pretty pretty um lame as well so um, yeah, my two cents, guys, comment below if you guys have different opinions or different views on it, if you tried it out. Um, I definitely feel it's uh, useful for um, people, you know, um, to connect. And I guess uh, if I was maybe um, into that sort of thing, it would be great to spend some time there. Uh, but yeah, uh, interested to hear what you guys' thoughts are of it, if you haven't used it or if you've used it before. Uh, drop a comment and see you guys next time.